Cuban in Miami, Felix Rodriguez, bearer of the CIA intelligence star of valor. For Cuban exiles, Felix Rodriguez is a hero, the man who tracked down Ernesto Che Guevara, leader of the World Revolution, who fought for paradise on earth with a gun in his hand. His home bar is a veritable Cold War museum with trophies and memorabilia from all over the world. I love to fly a helicopter. Uh, here is the, uh, one of the highest CIA um, decoration. This is Intelligence Star of Valor from the agency. And this is signed here by George Bush when he was the director of the CIA. This one here, this is signature. Felix Rodriguez also has a souvenir of the manhunt for Che Guevara in Bolivia in 1967. I have the Cuban shield, my initials, and inside here is the uh, tobacco from the last, last smoke that he had. Che had the pipe here, say, Comandante, me la da mi. Would you give it to me? He thought for a few seconds, say, si, a ti si te la doy. So give me the pipe and put it in my pocket. In the name of the world's exploited, Che Guevara had begun a global guerrilla war against capitalism. In the end, he allowed his captors to exhibit him like prize big game prey. Uh, but then when we took the picture outside, I think he thought that nothing was going to happen to him, that he was going to go to trial. So I look at him and say, Commander, do you mind? And he say, no. So I helped him out of the room. We sat on the, on the, uh, next to the schoolhouse. There is a wall behind. I put my hand around him. As a matter of fact, I told him, Comandante, mira el pajarito. Look at the little bird. And he started laughing at that point in time. We have put up a plaque at the Che Guevara Memorial in Santa Clara that reads, the CIA mercenary Felix Rodriguez is Che's murderer. The revolution still has an account to settle with him. This photo hangs there as well. On that morning, the 9th of October, Major Nino de Guzman took off in his helicopter to pick up the prisoner, alive. He knew nothing of an execution order. A las primeras luces del día, yo salgo con el helicóptero, con el coronel Centeno a bordo, y un americano, un americano. Early in the morning, I flew off with the helicopter. On board were Colonel Centeno and a Cuban-American named Rodriguez, the only passengers. On our arrival, Captain Prado informed us that Che was being held prisoner in the classroom of the schoolhouse. I stood in front of him, I looked at him and said, Che Guevara. And he looked at me very arrogant. He told him, nobody talks to me, nobody interrogates me. So I looked back to him and said, Commander, I didn't come here to interrogate you. I like to talk to you. I respect you for your ideas, even though to me they are mistaken. I just came to talk to you. So he looked to me for a while, for a few seconds, to see if I laughed. When he saw that I was serious, he looked at me and said, can you untie me? Can I sit? I said, sure. So I called for a soldier who was outside. I had to call him twice. And I said, untie Commander Guevara. He looked at me and said, untie Commander Guevara. So he came down, they untie him. And then the two of us helped him to sit him on a little bench. Proud and merciful, the hunter. Humble, the vanquished hero of the fight for freedom an image for posterity. But did the scene actually play out as Felix Rodriguez describes? The pilot was there as an eyewitness. Mr. Rodriguez bent down to Che Guevara, coming threateningly close. He said, hey, do you know who I am? Che Guevara raised his head, spit in his face, and said, I don't talk to traitors. That was the entire conversation between Rodriguez and Che Guevara. I requested that he be brought outside because I had orders to take a few pictures. The soldiers brought him out in front of the schoolhouse, into the sunlight. This picture was taken at 10 in the morning by pilot Nino de Guzman. 
Felix Rodriguez claims that the pilot also took this, the last photo. I put my hand around him. As a matter of fact, I told him, Comandante, mira el pajarito. Look at the little bird. And he started laughing at that point in time. As a matter of fact, when I turned over the film to the agency in, in La Paz, I told them there's a picture of Che Guevara laughing with me. Of course, by the time he saw the, they were ready to take the picture, he changed the expression for the one that you saw in the picture that we had. The famous photo of Che Guevara and Felix Rodriguez. You took the picture. I definitely did not take this picture. First off, I did not for the simple reason that he was wearing a camouflage uniform that day, not this one here. He wasn't wearing a cap. In my opinion, that is a photo montage. It's a montage, a photo montage. You can take it to the expert. There's no montage. We took the history-making picture to the USA's most renowned photo analyst, Dino Brugioni. My professional uh, opinion of this photograph is that it's a fake one. And I can determine that from the light and shadows in this particular photograph and also some of the cropping that is, have, has occurred. See the shadow here? See the shadow here? Okay, now if I sort them out like that, where you see the shadows, you can tell that the source of light is coming from that direction. The sun is, the sun doesn't cast shadows in various directions. You can see that the light source is above and his cap, and you can see the eye sockets very clearly. You can see this fellow's eye socket, and you can see the eye, Che's eye sockets very careful. And that's because the light is from above. You don't see the start of, of Mr. Rodriguez's eye socket. So you should have scallop effect here, but notice it's a straight line, and that straight line is, is indicative of a crop line. In other words, Mr. Rodriguez's uh, picture melds here. Now there should be some shadows cast from Mr. Rodriguez on the Che, but there isn't. The photograph of Che and the others is true, and that the photograph of Mr. Rodriguez has been put into the photograph. Felix Rodriguez disseminated the photograph throughout the entire world. It turns up in almost all the books and films about Che Guevara. The last picture of him is seared into the memory of millions, a conquered hero who had surrendered to his nemesis. After the photo session with Che Guevara, Felix Rodriguez's story continues. He had received an order to have Che Guevara shot. He had pleaded in vain to spare the life of the prisoner. It was around uh, past uh, 12.30 in the afternoon. So at that time, I thought it was nothing to wait anymore because the decision already had been made by the Bolivian High Command. That's when he came to the room and stood in front of, in front of him and said, Commander, I'm sorry. I tried my best. He turned white like a piece of paper, but he said, it's better this way. I should have never been captured alive. And then he changed the expression saying, if you can, tell my wife to remarry and try to be happy. That was the last word that we exchanged. He came to where I was, he shook my hand, I shook his hand, we embraced. And he left, and he stood in attention, thinking that I was going to be the one to shoot him. I just left the room, and I told Sergeant Terran, don't shoot from here up, shoot from here down because he's supposed to die from combat wound. See me, Capitan, see me, Capitan. I ordered a bucket of water that they brought it in, and I cleaned his face. I tried to close his jaw with my handkerchief and tried to close his eyes. And then we took the, the, the stretcher and put it um, to the right side of the helicopter that he came. And while I was doing that, then the pilot, Jaime Nino Guzman, said, me, Capitan, move him forward to balance the helicopter. So I put my hand under his body and pulled it open. At the time that I pulled it out, it was full of blood because he had a, a bullet who had crossed, covered his aorta and, they, and it was a plastic uh, stretcher, so it was full of blood. I remember thinking, because he didn't say anything, you know, there are people that they claim they have blood in their hand and my, my hand is full of blood. So I cleaned up my pant, I finished tying up the body and I got into the helicopter. Felix Rodriguez was not the director of the dramatic execution scene. He flew out an hour before Che Guevara was killed. 
the helicopter pilot confirms the eyewitness accounts. I flew Rodriguez and Centeno out of there. Felix Rodriguez too? Yes, on the same flight. When was that? Between about 12 and 12.30 noontime. And who brought Che Guevara's body to Valle Grande later that afternoon? I was the pilot and Che Guevara dead on a stretcher strapped to the skid of the helicopter. No one else. Absolutely no one. Felix Rodriguez says he washed Che Guevara's face and accompanied his corpse. A big lie. I can say that with utter clarity. But there is another interesting thing. On the return flight with Centeno and Rodriguez, I told the colonel everything I had discussed with Che Guevara. And Mr. Rodriguez listened intently the whole time. I also showed Centeno the notebook that Che had given to me. One day, a book by this Rodriguez came out, in which he portrays himself as the person who spoke with Che Guevara. I can assure you that he lied. 